Okay, so I made this guide video a while ago and it's become a little bit outdated now. Survival, we've got buffed once or twice. I missed out a lot of that rotation stuff in the video as well. Um, I found it hard trying to fit everything in it, so I'm going to try and do this thing. I'm going to make several shorter guide videos on different areas of the spec. So if you're curious and you want to learn about anything, let me know and I'll try and make a video on it. But to start with, I'm going to go over the single target rotation and how it changes with the different talent builds and the tier set. I will go over the AWE rotation in a different video, but yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. If you want to skip to any point, by the way, I'll put timestamps if you're like curious about certain areas of the single target rotation, you just skip away. Okay, so Monkey Spite is our main ability that by far does most of our damage, and you'll always be talented into it, so you're going to pretend Raptor Strike, it doesn't exist. The goal is to simply press Monkey Spite as many times as humanly possible throughout a fight. The thing is, Monkey Spite costs focus, and if you keep pressing it, you'll run out of focus and then no more Monkey Spites. So to keep that Monkey Spite train going, you'll have to also gain focus. And to do that, we have some focus generators, those being Kill Command, Flanking Strike, Death Chakram, and Harpoon with Terms of Engagement. Out of those four, the ones you'll be using most often though is Flanking Strike and Kill Command, and the biggest tip I can give, if you take anything away from this video at all, press these two as much as possible without overcapping on focus. The more focus you have throughout a fight, the more Monkey Spites you can press, and the less time you're sat there out of focus with nothing to do. So kind of think of it like the more times you press Kill Command and Flanking Strike, the more future Monkey Spites you have down the line, which equals more DPS, because you're not sat there out of focus. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Monkey Spite before we get into the whole rotation. I see loads of people getting power from the spec. See how an ability is this thing with a timer and it stacks and how do you play around it? And oh, it's so complicated, right? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So let me explain how it all works. So Mongoose Pike stacks up to five times and each time you press it, you gain a stack of this buff called Mongoose Fury. With each stack you have, it increases its damage by 15%. So when you get to five stacks, your Mongoose Bites, they're dealing an extra 75% more damage. Thing is, as soon as you press one Mongoose Bite, you start this timer, you're on a clock. And your Mongoose Fury stacks disappear after 14 seconds. And it doesn't matter if you stack it up to five times, that doesn't extend the time at all. You're on that 14 second clock as soon as you press that initial Mongoose Bite. Now all this seems way more complex than it actually is. Of course, in an ideal world, you want to fit as many of these five stack Mongoose Bites into this 14 second window as possible. But it's not something you have to majorly play around. Like if you full on ignore this completely, as in you press Mongoose Bite just whenever you want to, you don't actually lose that much DPS. Like you lose... DPS, yeah, but it's not a drastic amount. Like if you're actually tracking it and you make a small mistake, don't worry so much, it's not the end of the world. You've probably lost the smallest, smallest amount of DPS. So don't worry so much. So how do you optimize this 14 second window? Well, it's pretty simple really. You just press Mongoose Bite and your focus generates inside the window and then everything else outside of it. That's pretty much it. So you wanna have a weak horror or I use tell me when, just something to track this 14 second window so you can see when you're inside it and when you're outside it. And I am being a bit vague, like you still will press kill shot inside the window, and if you don't have tier set, you'll still press bombs. And I will talk about bombs as well, since they're supposed to be kind of one of our key spells, or at least they were. Currently though, they're really weak right now, very undertuned, do very little damage, but you still press them in single target. It's kind of the last thing you care about pressing. I will say without tier set, pressing bombs inside the Mongoose Spike window is fine. It's not something you ideally want to do, but it's fine to do. But as soon as you get that tier set, bombs are the last resort. You don't want to press them at all if you can help it inside that Mongoose Bite window. Still, yeah, you press them occasionally, and I'm going to presume that you'll be taking Wildfire Infusion, because well, it's on all the builds. And this makes your bombs colourful. And just in case you don't know what these colourful bombs do, let me give you a quick list. Green Bomb, ignore it. <laughs> it now applies Serpent Sting, which you'll be doing automatically anyway with your Mongoose Bites. And then it has an explosion damage if there's already Serpent Sting on the target. The damage is so pitiful that if you just if you see it coming up, imagine it's a bomb with no effect. Blue bomb puts a bleed on the target when you monkey spite, stacking up to three times. The damage is pretty low, and since you're monkey spiting so much anyway, it's very likely you're gonna get the bleed two or three stacks without even meaning to. If you do want to fully optimize it, just make sure it's the button you press before you start your monkey's fury window, and you'll guarantee the three stacks, which is like a net gain of 0.1% damage over the cost of a fight. So if you do it, well done. If not, yeah, it's really such a little damage loss that it's like, it's whatever. And then there's Red Bomb, which makes your kill commands guaranteed to reset itself when you press it. And this can be useful, especially if you're in low on focus, and then you, this is like a saving grace in a way. But it's just going to happen. You're going to press it. You're going to get a few extra kill command resets, which is good. It's good to track the bombs. Like I should mention as well with the red bomb, don't just dump focus. Like if you see you got a red bomb coming up, don't just mongoose bite, mongoose bite, mongoose bite, mongoose bite, because you know you can get to full focus again. 
yes, you can get to full focus again, but it's not worth it. It's not worth doing that. It's worth just Mongoose Bite Kill Command, Mongoose Bite Kill Command, even if it's not going to 100% reset. So yeah, that's the bombs. And just if you want some context, this is my gear, my simmed character. Throughout a five minute fight, the sim, the robot that's on a patchwork fight that's trying to play optimally, uses the bomb a grand total of 15 times in a five minute fight. That's not very much at all. So yeah, you won't be pressing them too much, but still good to know what they do. Finally going to move on to the actual rotation now. So without major cooldowns, that's stuff like spearhead, coordinate assault, death chakram, just your basic rotation. On pull, it would be bomb plus harpoon. Harpoon's off the GCD, so you can press something with it. Mongoose bite until you get low enough and focus to use a flanking strike that won't overcap you on focus. Then it's just going to be mongoose bite, kill command, mongoose bite, kill command, if it resets itself. You kind of just repeat this. If you do run out of focus, then you can bomb because you've got nothing else to do, even if you're inside the mongoose fury window. And then when a mob gets below 20% health, you can start kill shotting. So you press this on cooldown. Doesn't matter if you're in the mongoose fury window, you just press it on cooldown. When your Mongoose Fury does drop, this is the time to hold off and press a Mongoose Pike for just a few seconds. Press your Focus Generators instead, so your Flanking Strikes and your Kill Commands get up to high focus again. And also throw out a bomb or two as well at this time. Then get back into your Mongoose Fury window. You don't want to stay out of it for too long, so you want to start Mongoose Biting as soon as possible. And then you just rinse, repeat this. And that's kind of the general idea. So the priority is without tier set, it would be Kill Shot on cooldown. And then it would be flanking strike if it won't overcap you on focus, kill command if it won't overcap you on focus, bomb at two charges, then throw it, then mongoose bite, and then bomb even if there's just one charge and you've got nothing else to do. With tier set, bomb goes all the way down to the bottom of the list and you press it as a last result when you've got nothing else to do. If you do have nothing to do, it's still better to throw a bomb than just skip a GCD. So still throw it if you have to. And that's kind of it without cooldowns. Now I'm going to throw a Harpoon into the mix because you're basically forced into taking Harpoon plus terms of engagement because it's just too damn strong to pass up. What this means is you'll want to move out of melee throughout a fight and then Harpoon back in. This sounds really awkward to do, but it's not so bad. Harpoon isn't on the GCD, so you'll get to pair it up with another ability. So whilst you're fighting a mob or a boss, if you notice Harpoon's off cooldown, then wait until you're about to use a kill command or a bomb. Then you walk out with a both ranged ability so you can press your kill command and your bomb together with your harpoon, harpoon back onto the boss. You don't really lose any uptime because you're going to press that ability anyway. It's just, I'm saying it's not that awkward to you. It's a little bit awkward, especially on some bosses, but it's just too strong to pass up. You've got to do it. You're forced into doing it, kind of. If you hate it, I don't know what to tell you. The other option sucks. So you kind of have to. With cooldowns, the rotation changes very slightly. Like, I want to first look at the single target build that it's like the go to single target build. What changes now is that Spearhead makes our Mongoose Bites put a bleed on the target. And this gets bigger with the amount of damage that the Mongoose Bite does. Also, if you take Deadly Duo, the one below it, which is, by the way, still very bugged, only the bottom part of it actually works. Though, even still in single target, we're really grasping at straws with talents to choose from. So you'll still take it uh, in quite a few situations. Anyway, yeah, the bit that does work makes our kill command resets extend the duration of spearhead. And if you play around this, you should get about six to nine seconds extra time in your spearhead window, depending on your gear and if you're in here or not. So all that changes with this is that during your spearhead cooldown, if you take deadly jewel, you'll want to ignore flanking strike and just mongoose bite and kill command. Also, when your Mongoose Bite window runs out, don't care about it, just continue to Mongoose Bite and Kill Command until Spearhead runs out, and then it's back to the normal rotation. So when you're taking Spearhead and Death Chakram, which will also be taken in single target, your opener is going to look a little bit like this. You're going to Death Chakram and Harpoon in, then you're going to Spearhead, and then you're going to Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, and then you're going to Kill Command, and then you're going to Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, and then you're going to Kill Command, and then you're going to Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, and then you're going to Kill Command, and you're going to keep doing this. Pretty much. I mean, it's... It's Mongoose Bite until you can kill command without overcapping yourself in focus and it's off CD. But th that's spearhead rotation right there. Ignore everything else. If you get low on focus and your kill command is still on cooldown, it didn't reset or something, then um, you can flanking strike. It's kind of like that's your last resort in your spearhead window. In spearhead, bombs are a no no. Do not press bombs. If you press bomb, you are screwing yourself over. Also, kill shot, don't press it inside the spearhead window unless the mob or a boss is about to die since you won't get the bleed damage out. Then you can kill shot. Otherwise, it is just mongoose bites and it is just kill commands. If you have the tier set, then keep track of the buff. But all this means is some mongoose bites will cost no focus, which means let's say you mongoose bite, get the buff, then you'll mongoose bite again. And since this one costs no focus, then you'll have to do another mongoose bite before kill commanding to not overcap on focus. So it'll be like 
mongoose bite, mongoose bite, mongoose bite, kill command instead of mongoose bite, mongoose bite, kill command. That's all you really need to be aware of. And then when spearhead's over, it's back to the normal rotation. Just make sure to use death tracker on cooldown. It has a 45 second cooldown. Spearhead's a 1.5 minute cooldown, meaning you can death tracker him and spearhead, and then death tracker him 45 seconds later, and then pair it up again to death tracker him spearhead. Also, there is some bosses with the occasional adds where you still might want to run spearhead because maybe coordinator slots just too slow, the adds die too fast, or maybe you just want that boss damage. You might run explosive shot, fury of the eagle, you might even run butchery. In these scenarios, whilst you're only fighting the one boss before whatever adds spawn, you can still use Explosive Shot outside your Mongoose Fury windows, if the ads aren't coming up anytime soon. Never cast Fury of the Eagle on one target unless you've got literally nothing else to do. It's not worth it. If you've got nothing else to do, start the channel. As soon as anything comes up, anything becomes available, you press that instead, you cancel the channel. And then Butchery, unless there's at least three targets, it's, it's not worth using. And if you are running Butchery over, say, Deadly Duo, then during Spearhead you can now Flanking Strike, since like Kill Command cooldown resets won't extend the duration anymore, it's not a high priority. So you can flanking strike, still kill command of course, but you can now do that inside the window as well. <laughs> okay, I said this was going to be short, it's gone a bit longer than I thought, but... Okay, so when you're in dungeons and mythic plus scenarios, you know, when you're in an AoE setting and you're running a more conventional build, like this one or this one, there are still times where you're only going to be hitting one enemy still, like a boss or a mini boss. So I'll quickly go through what changes during coordinate assault in these scenarios. During the buff, when you've got coordinate assault up, kill shot is going to be your highest priority by far. And then bombs as well, you can now use it inside the window, even with tier set, because they now generate focus. Pretty cool. So yeah, ideally your opener would look something like Wartnet Assault, Explosive Shot, Death Chakram, then Kill Shot, then Bomb, then Mongoose Bite, then Bomb again, then Mongoose Bite, then Mongoose Bite, and then Kill Shot. And then you kind of just, you know, keep going with the priority system, you'll Kill Shot on cooldown, you get four of them in your Coordinate Assault window. Bomb when it's at two charges, or just to gain focus. And then flanking strike if it won't overcap you, kill command if it doesn't overcap you, mongoose bite, you know, just the same as before. And that's what I put down as the opener, but like you can do coordinate assault a bit later if you wanted, it's just a bit risky. The reason why I put it first, even though you're seemingly delaying that kill shot, is you only get a max of four kill shots anyway. And delaying it that much, you'll still get the four kill shots in. It just makes it so you're less likely for your pet to have already just specialed attacked. Because if your pet's just specialed attacked before, then you won't get the the proc, right? You won't get the coordinated assault proc. And I talked about in my older guide video, the whole coordinated assault thing. I put a macro in the description of that video. I can put it in this one as well. But it's just when you use coordinated assault, there's a chance that your pet has just special attacks. So it just, you know, delaying that kill shot by a GCD or two ensures that you definitely get the empowered buff. And you still get to use the fall kill shots anyway, as long as you're using kill shot on CD. And then you're back to the normal rotation, but now you've also got explosive shots, so just throw that in there, try and use it outside the Mongoose Fury window. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal if you do, especially if you don't have tier set, but it's ideal to, you know, use it outside. Also, if you are running Stampede, just make sure to use it with Coordinated Assault. Swap it with Death Chakram in the opener list, but yeah, I mean, the, the opener, the first few abilities you use, there's quite a lot of them. I always mess them up. I always get them in a different order. So it's like, it doesn't really matter so much as long as you get them empowered kill shots. That's the main thing. And then stick back to your old rotation of Mongoose Bite, Kill Command, and Flanking Strike. And yeah, you should be good. <sighs> right, okay. I think I went through everything. I hope I'm not missing anything. I could be, but I'll put it in the description if I am missing anything or write in the comments. Tell me I'm bad that I missed something. Or tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> um... I mean, I will say Serpent Sting, put it on your bar still. This is a little tip. When you're outside of melee, you still want to press it if your bomb's on cooldown, your kill command's on cooldown. If you stood out of melee for too long, just Serpent Sting, Serpent Sting, Serpent Sting. It doesn't do much. It still does a little bit of damage though, and it also stacks up that latent poison for when you get back into melee. I think that about does it. So I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Hope it's been informative. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer. If not straight away in like a day or two, but I will get to them. Oh, and I'm supposed to say like and subscribe. That's the thing people do, right? Yeah, like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that stuff. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but I've been seeing that subscriber number go up and oh, it's been making me feel good. So oh, that came out weird, didn't it? Okay, right, I want to go. Uh, have a good day.